I'm Jason Jaco, Prince Jaco Productions, and I'm here with the dub cast of Sailor Moon. If you guys would like to introduce yourselves and who you do. Hi, my name's Katie Griffin, and I play Sailor Mars. And I'm Linda Ballantyne, and I was Sailor Moon. And I'm Susan Roman, and I was Sailor Jupiter. And I'm Toby Proctor, and I played this little wee guy, Tuxedo Mask. And we're here at a Triad Ami Convention 2014, and we're in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. How are you guys enjoying the North Carolina life? Love Loving it. it! Thank you for your Southern hospitality, everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, now, one question I've been wondering, because, you know, we've done the panels and stuff like that, and people have asked lots of questions, but what I'm wondering is what you guys are currently doing now in 2014. Well, we're all, we all do various projects. Oh, I forgot I'm talking <laughs> the roses. There we go. Roses today. Thanks. Oh, I like that you're holding that. Yes, from. I will. So, um, but currently I'm, I'm, I'm doing various advertising uh, um, voices, and also I'm working on Inspector Gadget, the new round. So... That's kind of what I'm, I'm doing right now. It's funny, as, asking voice actors what they're doing is, uh, is sometimes a tough thing because a lot of times voice actors don't work all the time. So you sort of go, oh, what am I, what what am I, working? What am yeah. I working on right now? It's weird. Um, I am right, right now working on George of the Jungle. There's a new animated series of that. And I am Magnolia, a very, very crazy scientist. Although the other day they said, I'm not sure. She might not actually be a scientist. She just might think she's a scientist. Oh. So that's kind of fun. And I've got another one called Peg and Cat that I've been working on as well. And uh, actually, uh, this uh, coming week, I have a really big audition uh, slated uh, for Monday or Tuesday. I'm not quite sure which. And I'm working hard on preparing for it. And hopefully, I'll be able to give you some good news really soon. Woo! Uh, well, I just had a, I think, well, this month there's going to be a animated feature called Daisy, A Hen in the Wild, and I play the lead duck named Willie that apparently is being released this month. So All right. where is it being released? Who knows? But it's going to be amazing because I'm a duck, and that's cool. I like that. Does that mean you're quackers? No. Oh. Like that. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go back in time a little bit. When I started hearing your guys' voices, I'm 31 now. Most people don't know that. They think I'm young, but I'm 31. Um, when I was in about 7th, 8th grade on uh, syndication, uh, UPN and Fox, before church, I used to listen to you guys every Sunday, and it was like a real like emotional thing, like listening to your voices and listening to uh, like Brian Drummond and the Dragon Ball Z and Paul Dobson and Ronan Warriors, they were all, it was all blocked together on Sundays. Right. Um, wanted me to work with mic something to do with audio and mics and stuff like that. So uh, I went to college for broadcasting journalism. I kind of went in a different direction. I didn't go in theater, but I went into radio, and I was in radio for six years, and you guys were a big part of why I did that, so I want you to uh, know that. Aww. Wow. Wow. That's, that's, really cool. Cool. that's great. That's, a, that's really nice. So how um, did you ever expect it to blow up the way it did, Sailor Moon? No, I, I mean, me I personally, we I... I had no idea what was going to happen with this series, and until the merchandising came out and we, we noticed, yeah, they're selling all kinds of dolls and knapsacks and posters and pretty much everything, then we knew it was kind of big. But, I mean, the last year, the 20th anniversary, it's really hit home because we've had all kinds of Sailor Moon loving. Yeah. Yes, yes, we have. We have. Um, well, for my part, I think that... Uh, um, the the first couple of years were sort of a no man's land, and then all of a sudden, I think I went to my first con, con back in, oh, I don't know, maybe the late 90s or something like that. All I know is that nobody wore costumes. That's how far back it was, if you can imagine. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, nobody no wore cosplay. costumes, and in yeah. fact, there was uh, one girl who stood in the lineup where we were, and she was dressed as Sailor Mercury, and everyone went like this, would you look at that girl? She's dressed in costumes. That's how unusual it was. So right then, I started to say to myself, I think that this has got legs, and it's going to last a long time. And I was actually right for once in my life. Go figure. And last year, I went to my very first con, and uh, there was a fan that kept saying, please go, please go. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know if anybody's really that interested in Sailor Moon. And he's like, I, I think you'll be surprised. And I was like, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So finally I said, yeah, okay, I'll ask them if they, if they want Sailor Moon to go there. And the people said, yes, please. So I said, 
okay, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, okay, I'll go to this con, and I've called up Katie and said, please come with me, please. And Katie said, okay, I'll see if Susan will go. Okay, okay. So the three of us sort of went together, and I was like, oh, God, what are we doing? What are we doing? And the fan had also said, it's a great convention. They've got cosplay. And I went, <clears throat> What is cause play? Is that how you pronounce that? And I had never seen anything like that. So when we got to this convention and all these people were dressed up, it was like, what? And it was so much Sailor Moon love that it was it was shocking. It was amazing, and it stays in my heart for sure to this day. Totally that that was an amazing convention. All right, professionally, I would never ask you guys to do your uh, tonsil burners, but there is one thing I like hearing each of your characters say, and that's to call uh, somebody a meatball head. So I was wondering <laughs> if each of you would call a meatball head in your voices, and then you can reply as being the meatball head. Serena, you're such a meatball head. Serena, you're such a meatball head. Hey, meatball head. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you calling a meatball head? You're a meatball head. Meatball You're heads. A meatball meatball head. Head. Oh, no, you look are. at your so hair. not fair. So oh, it's crazy. crazy. You know what I think? Anybody ever says it. I think Jason's the meatball head. I think you're Jason's right. Jason's the meatball head. Just saying. Is have you met somebody you looked up to while doing being in the business? Well, this is a typical Canadian answer to this. <laughs> the person that I, when I met, that I was going. Oh, God, 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 was actually a hockey player. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it wasn't so much a voice actor, but in Canada, of course, hockey's uh, pretty darn what important. Let's Which, just yeah. say it's very important to Which all of us. Which player was it? It was Guy Lafleur. <gasps> oh, well. He was my player, and I heard that he was signing autographs uh, at this bookstore, so I went over there, and I stood in line, and I was fine, I was fine, and as soon as I got up to him, I'm just like... <laughs> Um, I, yeah, you might as well sign this to your best fan ever because I really am your best fan ever. Like I've got everything. I've got I've got your hockey cards. I've got I've even got your record. Guy Lafleur actually put out a record. Oh, love it. yeah, a that. disco album. Oh, where oh he was God. doing hockey tips, wow. and he looked up at me and went, Ooh. "I'm gonna need to hear." And that. he wrote to my best fan ever. Oh, that's a good that's story. Fabulous. Awesome. Anyone else? Anybody else? Did you get to meet anybody? Any of you know, uh, it's going way back. I got to meet Buddy Rich, who is uh, oh. probably one of the world's best drummers, drummers. and or, uh, orchestrators and, and conductors. And uh, I, uh, my brother's a drummer, but I at least know what worth he had. And I was a very young boy, but it uh, stuck with me always, and it just made me realize that you could do anything you want. Just recently at the airport on the way over here, I did meet Sean Astin, Rudy uh, Goonies, Samwise Ganji. And I was, uh, yeah, so that was, that was kind of cool. It's not my, I, I wouldn't say. Out. You did. And I was, and I went over and I wouldn't normally. Well, and I, I saw him and I thought, boy, does that guy ever look, look like, like Sean Aston? He was totally cool. He was the coolest was guy ever. He was eating, he had a nice proper breakfast in front of him, blueberry jam on his toes. Proper not that I, well, I'm just saying, you know, he's eating a nice big breakfast. I, I respect that as, as a breakfast eater. You're good. Can't Myself. say. Enjoy a break. Okay, I'll end on this question. This has been like a really big Sailor Moon weekend for the U.S. with you guys coming all the way down to North Carolina. You know, you've seen the fans and the lines. You know, you've made us all very happy. The eighth grader in me is jumping right now, and I'm trying to keep them, <laughs> keep them down. But um, also in Japan, they announced the official name of the new Sailor Moon, which uh, Sailor Moon Crystal, which they're kind of going to do a Dragon Ball Z Kai, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, where they're going to stick to the manga strictly, which I don't really like that much because she burns me alive in the manga instead of putting a jet plane on me. Ah, oh. here, well. do you want me to do this? Hold this for one sec. Stupid, stupid, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. You're such a meatball head. Why would you do that? Oh, I can't believe it. You totally wrecked my hair. <laughs> so, <laughs> and your question would be? So how do you, are you guys going to be, how do you feel about the new series and are you going to be following it? And Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we'll be following it for sure. We will. Uh, you know, the, the point is, too, is that uh, whether or not we're involved, and probably it's, you know, looking very uh, likely that we won't be involved, um, we would, I know that I speak for all of us when I say that, of course, it's, it's a project that's so near and dear to our hearts that, of course, we absolutely wish them 1,000% uh, excellent luck with it and that they get uh, actors who are every bit as uh, terrific as the ones uh, who did it 21 years ago. That would be great. 
but we're also saying, uh, you know, good luck to you because it's a fabulous project. Yeah. Hello. What do you think, Tom? Uh, well, I think we've been blessed, obviously, to be involved with something that's had this type of longevity. It, you can't have that uh, always in a career and uh, having achieved a 20 year uh, kind of status mm. is, yeah. well, it's staggering just for the age part of it, but just for the relevance in pop culture is, uh, to me, it's uh, unbelievable. Yeah. And I wish whoever does it next, they just. I hope they carry the torch nicely. Good don't luck. blow it. Yeah, don't blow it. People come at and me. I, yeah, Nadine. Yeah. We will punish you we'll in the name of the moon. In the but name of Jupiter. Challenge you in a game of hockey. Yeah, and we will. <laughs> these guys will agree that Sailor Moon fans are the best fans in the world. Yeah, we do. We're really appreciative of everyone that yeah. comes out. And yep. Give support. And how can your fans follow you as far as social media, websites, and stuff like that, where you're going to be and stuff? We're all... Twittering, yeah. tweeting. Twitter. What's tweeting. your Twitter handle? Kiss Me Chaos. L.A. Ballantyne. S. Roman 8886. At Toby Proctor. I don't know why I did that. Really? <laughs> so, so yeah, I understand their three names, but I want to know where your name came from. Kiss Me Chaos was an album that I, because I'm a singer as well, so it was my first, it's a play on words for Kiss Me Kate, the play. Oh. It's, I kind of regret it like slightly. Like Ladies Love Cool J. Yeah, taming of, of the shrew. Yeah, little taming of the shrew. Because I am Kate the Untamable Shrew. So it's always that little play on words. But it, if you don't know it, then it just sounds silly. No, it doesn't. I think it's cute. It's it I love when you do that. Okay. She's my champion. <laughs> silly. Sounds silly. All right. <laughs> Thank you all for the interview. I hope you have a good rest of the convention and have as much fun as you can down in North Thank Carolina. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks man, Jason. You're great. Yeah, he'll shake Thank your hand you. first and then me. Right. <laughs> Cut.